Good morning and happy February. I just got done with my daily grace, my prayers, my meditation. Santino is in the kitchen eating his breakfast right now. We love slow mornings, so we're just hanging out, enjoying the quiet time. I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee in the tea room right now and hang out until he's finished up. It's a rainy day out. I am planning on making a roast for dinner. Um, it's such a comfort meal for us, so we're gonna do that, make some sides to go with it, and then we're gonna chat about our next move. We're so excited. Okay, we're gonna get cooking up here in just a bit, but I'm gonna give Santino a little activity to do while I'm cooking. It's like a little dig it up dinosaur kit, so basically it comes with 12 eggs and there's like little hidden dinosaurs in it, and I think it comes with like a little hammer and you just crack the egg open. So he's gonna play with this. Are you excited? Yeah! Awesome! Let's open it up! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Oh goodness! Okay, you wanna do. Stop! Wait, wait, wait. Okay. It comes with quite a bit, kiddo. So they're a little bit bigger than I expected, so I only gave him two. And little mom hack, put it in like a little tray or put it on a towel um, for easy cleanup. And he's gonna get digging. Yeah. Have fun. Fun. My move? I try to help you. Oh, a real white dinosaur. I know, we gotta get the dinosaur out. Yeah. It's tough. It's hard. Yeah. <sighs> All right, let's get into the recipe for the pot roast. I filled it up with one of these chicken broths, and then I just refilled it up with water and added that in here as well. I have my chuck pot roast, so I'm gonna add that in. I'm also gonna be adding in some carrots, fresh garlic, and some seasoning. my little sidekick back there with me. We are headed out for some fresh air. We're gonna go to the park and just to get out of the house. It's nice to just be able to get out of the house and go hang out outside, get some fresh air, run around, exert some energy. So we're gonna go do that right now and I'm gonna share with you guys our next move. We've officially been living in Utah for three years now and in those three years it's definitely served its purpose um and we've enjoyed our time here but we feel like we're capped now there's just a lot of pros and cons and we've written those down um and unfortunately it's just like the cons outweigh the pros living in utah at least but like i said it served its purpose we were able to live in a beautiful five bedroom three bathroom house raise our son in a very family friendly neighborhood and experience the mountains and do all that outdoorsy stuff but in our next chapter of life, we're wanting to just gain that sense of like feeling young again and being able to go out to the bar or go grab a nice dinner or go take a walk out on the town next to the beach or on the by the river. So our next move is going to be Florida. <laughs> Now let me see, who could have guessed that? I feel like that was an easy one. But yes, we are planning to move to Florida, um, specifically like the Tampa Bay area. We did the pros and cons list for that and the pros outweigh the cons and we're just like, 
it is what it is. It's time to make the move. It's time to take that, that leap of faith, take that jump off the cliff and it's our time. First pro and con on the list is the weather. The con to Utah is the weather. This winter has been very gloomy, dark, and rainy, very snowy. Whereas the pro to Florida is out of 365 days, it's sun is shining around 300 of those days. So weather number one. Second pro and con on the list is, con to Utah is we don't have any family here. We've made some incredible friends and we're so happy about that. We're gonna miss them and we love them so much. But we have no family for Santino, no help in case of emergency. Um, but pro to Florida is, we're gonna have a ton of family there. My parents are going to retire there. It's also closer for James's family to visit. Um, and then he also has some aunts, uncles, and cousins out there. So we're gonna have a ton of family out there, which is really what we're missing and lacking in life. So that's number two. Okay, this next one on the list is actually in pro of Utah. We got in the housing market at the perfect time where we actually have a 2.6% interest rate. Those days are gone and over with. So when we go to Florida, we already know it's gonna put a little burn in our pocket. But again, all the pros outweigh the cons. Um, and that's something that we kind of just have to accept and know that those times are done and over with. Um, but yeah, pro is the housing market. We have um, a five bedroom, three bathroom house at a 2.6% interest rate uh, in Florida. That's gonna be a totally different ball game, but that's just one of the things that happens in life. So that's the pro to Utah, con to Florida right now. The next one on, on our list is my personal favorite. Can you guess? Pro to Florida is we're going to be closer to Disney. So you already know I'm all in there. I love it. A personal pro on James's list is that he gets to ride his bike pretty much all year round. Um, that's one of his favorite hobbies is motorcycles. He's like a little geek when it comes to it. So that's on his pro list. I realized I did not formally close out the video. So I just wanted to quickly come on and say thank you guys for watching. There's gonna be more updated videos to come about this process, this next chapter of life. So please consider liking, subscribing, all the things to help our channel grow. It would mean so much to us. And thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.